guys what's up welcome to my channel my name is tochi if you don't know if you see me for the first time yes this is me and you are welcome so as announced in my previous video it's no longer secret right i'm pregnant and i'm expecting my third child right so it's time to find out the gender of the baby that i'm carrying okay so we'll be using the old wife's tale to find out the gender i usually enjoy watching people you know do it and now that i'm pregnant okay and i have a youtube channel i'm like uh, why not if not okay so it's time to find out the gender of this baby and i hope this works right so guys i want you to guess in the comment section already do you think i'm carrying a boy or a girl what do you think so let's make it very interesting okay i won't even waste much time let me just get started i found this on google so that's what i'll be using today okay so there are 21 21 old wives tales for gender prediction is it a boy or a girl let's find out <laughs> now the first one says are you carrying high or carrying low so this is one of the most common old wife's tales to predict baby's gender if you're carrying your baby high then it means you're expecting a girl and then if you're carrying low then you're having a boy so from my bum i think i'm carrying low so for this old wife's tale i'm having a boy for this number one so boy has one and girl has zero right well guys on a serious note right come to think of it can you really predict what somebody's having by looking at the bomb right is it like does it work i just want to know like if you can look at somebody and just say okay by the shape of your bomb you're having a girl by the shape of your bomb you're having a boy right if it works that way like if it works for you all the time please let me know in the comment section okay i just really want to know and the next one is frequent headaches Though headaches are a common pregnancy symptom, if you get them frequently, then a little boy is on the way. So if you watched my pregnancy announcement video, I mentioned that I had frequent headache during my second pregnancy. And of course I had a boy, right? My second child is a boy, but this time, no headaches it comes once in a while and i'm really grateful so for this point the girl has one and the boy has zero it's one one so the next one is pregnancy acne it says do you have pregnancy acne or other types of skin blemishes according to the old wife's tales gender prediction you're going to be blessed with a little girl i usually have my neck very dark when i'm pregnant even now right i have this breakout on my neck and then some on my face and they say if you do then it's a girl right but if you don't then it's a boy i obviously have in fact i'm getting darker can see my face so for this one the girl has one point and the boy has zero so it's two one right the next one is sweet versus salt taste you are craving sweet things all the time then it's a girl for you on the other hand if salty things interest you it means you're having a boy i don't crave salty things and i don't crave sweet things all i crave is just good food right just food nice food let me just eat and be happy and be okay and that's it right body temperature if you're feeling cold and icy it's a boy if you're feeling hot and sweaty it's a girl right even when you are abroad because the weather is really cold abroad so whether you're having a boy or not you should be cold and cover yourself well during the cold weather but anyway on a serious note right now i'm really getting very hot right like i don't even want to wear all those clothes we wear for cold anymore when i'm inside the house i just want to take off my socks take off my clothes because i feel hot so, so i think for this one the girl has it because right now or this period i'm really feeling very hot even when others are saying they are cold or something i just feel hot i'm like you're cold like this are you serious so yeah the girl has one point for this one and the boy has zero so so far it's three one the next is glowing if you're feeling fabulous and has a glow then according to the old wife's gender prediction you will give birth to a baby boy right 
So I don't think I'm feeling fabulous and having a glow. I don't think I'm glowing because my face is getting darker as you can see. I don't know if the camera can pick it. And I have all these spots and I don't think I'm, I'm glowing. I don't know. But my skin is still very fine. Like I've got really nice skin, you know, but my neck and my face is the exception. I don't know what to say for this one. Am I glowing? Am I feeling fabulous? I don't think so. So the girl child has it. Ah, this is interesting. So, so far the girl has four points and the boy has one point. The next one is baby's heart rate. So an old wife still says that slower heart rates under 140 BPM means a baby boy. Why heart rate over 140 means baby girl? Maybe I'll ask my midwife that one when I go for my next appointment because Come on, how do I check baby's heart rate right now? I don't know. I don't know how to do that one. The next one is garlic test. If you're able to eat a lot of garlic but not smell like it, that means you're carrying a girl according to the old wife's still gender prediction. Sorry, I don't even want to smell it. I don't want to eat it. I don't like the smell. So yeah, garlic test. So for this one, I think the boy child has it. One and the girl has zero. So, so far it's four, two. The next one is nose widens, okay? Have you noticed any changes in the size of your nose? If your nose widens, you're going to welcome a baby boy. But let me ask you, is there anybody who is pregnant that doesn't have a big nose? Like, <laughs> obviously my nose is widening now. Like, somebody knows it all. <laughs> somebody knows it all. <laughs> Please, this we should not even do this thing. Whether you're having a boy or a girl, your nose will definitely widen when you're pregnant. They should not even tell me this. Anyway, for this one, according to them, the boy child has one point and the girl has zero point. So right now it's 4-3. You know anyone that doesn't have a wide nose during pregnancy? Please let me know in the comment section because <laughs> my nose usually gives me away. It's giving me away already. <laughs> So the next one is morning sickness, right? Suffering from excessive nausea and morning sickness. Well then, the old wife's tale is that you could be having a baby girl. So I usually have morning sickness. I usually suffer from all these things during my first trimester. In fact, that is how I usually know that I'm pregnant because I get really, really sick, okay? So if I'm going by the old wife's tale, it means I'm having a baby girl right so a baby girl has one point and a baby boy has zero point but come to think of it i've had a baby girl my first child is a girl and my second child is a boy and i had a really terrible morning sickness right i was really sick during my first trimester so why are they saying that it's only for baby girls that you get sick i don't know but let's go with what they are saying right now so so far we have five three Five for girl and three for boy. The next one, guys, is very funny. Your partner is gaining weight. So if you've noticed your partner gaining weight, it means you have a little boy soon. Is my partner gaining weight? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think he's gaining weight at the moment because he's even keeping fit. He's going to the gym. He goes to play football. So he's really fit at the moment. He's not gaining any weight. So for this one, the girl child has one point and the boy has zero points. So the next one is moody or mellow. Are you moody or mellow? An old wife still for gender prediction says if you are more moody than mellow, you'll be having a girl. If you are more mellow, then you should be ready for a boy. Am I always moody? The thing is, sometimes the discomfort just makes me like, just keep quiet, stay on my own. But it doesn't mean I'm moody, right? It just means that I'm just going through a lot and I want to stay on my own. But does that mean I'm moody? Because if something happens that I need to laugh, I'll laugh. And if something happens that I need to cry, I'll cry. I'm just dealing with the pain, the discomfort that I'm feeling and everything. So sometimes I just prefer to just keep quiet and stay on my own and just maybe just stay off everything. Does that mean I'm moody? But if that means that I'm being moody, then it says that I'm having a girl. So the girl child has one and the boy child has zero. 
So the next one is swollen legs or ankles. Have you experienced swollen legs or ankles? If so, according to the old wife's tales, get ready for a boy. No, I don't have any swollen legs or ankles. So for this one, it says I'm having a boy. So the girl has one and the boy has zero. But funny enough, I had swollen legs and ankle when I had my daughter. And when I had my son, I didn't have that right for this one this old wife tale <laughs> let me just reserve my comment so so far the girl child is leading take this eye test to determine baby's gender look in the mirror for about a minute if your pupils are dilating it means you're having a boy look into the mirror <laughs> so guys nothing is happening no so the girl has one point and the boy has zero points this is serious are you a bit more clumsy than usual? If so, it's apparently a boy. Am I clumsy? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Sometimes I can be. The boy child have one point right now and the girl child has zero points. Okay, let's go over to the next one. Craving meat. If you just can't get enough meat, the old wife's tale for gender prediction says you'll be having a boy if you just can't get enough meat. Hmm. Sometimes I just want to eat meat. Sometimes I'm not even interested. I just want pepper snail, pepper gizzard, you know, pepper chicken. But sometimes just give it to me and I don't want it, right? Um, so let's just go with it because right now if you give me pepper snail, I'll jump on it. If you give me pepper gizzard, I'll jump on it. If you give me any nice pepper something when I'm hungry, I will eat it. So let's give the boy one for this one and the girl zero. So the next one is odd or even. Try this to predict baby's gender. If both your age and the year you conceived are even, you're having a girl. And if they are both odd, you're also having a girl. However, if one is even and the other is odd, you're having a boy. Right, so I just did the maths and they are both even. So it says I'm having a girl. <laughs> so the girl child has one point for this one and the boy child has zero points. So according to what we have here, as you guys can see, this was free and fair, <laughs> there was no rigging. So the girl child has 10 points and the boy child has four points. So obviously the girl child won. Hmm. Am I having a girl child? <laughs> Please, what do you think in the comment section? Let me know your thoughts. What do you think I'm having? Just get, I'm going to be doing my real gender review very soon, baby shower, everything. I'm definitely going to do all of that. I'm even going to do like a Q&A. If you have questions for me, just leave them. Like, we're going to have fun on this channel. Trust me, I am coming out on this channel with a banger. So get ready. If you're yet to subscribe here, please do so. Please, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, like you all know, that channel is like official, official, serious, serious, but this one, we're all here to relax and have fun, okay? So yeah, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming this video as well. I wish I could continue, but I don't want it to be too long, right? So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.